Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today we're going to check it out how to create this retro colorful letter C in Illustrator. First step, make sure that you're on the stroke. So I'm going to select, I'm going to swap this from field to stroke, select the ellipse tool, press and hold shift plus alt, create a circle, press and hold shift plus alt, scale it down somewhere like this select both go to object blend and make go to object expand click on okay okay select the pan tool which is located right here and go here where is the anchor where's the intersection zone so click here press and hold shift and go all the way to the right where they intersect press ctrl c and then ctrl f press and hold shift and rotate it 90 degrees press and hold shift select both Press and hold shift plus alt, scale it up. Now let's select a rectangle, press and hold shift plus alt. Now rotate it, press and hold shift, rotate it once. I'm gonna put it where they intersect here. Press and hold shift, scale it up. I'm gonna just scale this up. I'm gonna go to the Pathfinder, click on the Unite. If you don't have the Pathfinder, you can go to Windows and select the Pathfinder right here. And now I'm gonna press and hold alt and make them more narrow good select them all and click on pathfinder divide right click on group select these press on delete i'm going to increase the stroke thickness to four four is good all right from here i'm going to create some copies i'm going to press and hold alt and press Control D. We needed three copies. I'm gonna swap this one from field to stroke. Here you can swap it with this arrow. I'm gonna highlight these and I'm gonna recolor them. Right click group also. I'm gonna go to the fill and I'm gonna select the color. You're gonna go with yellow. And th these, I'm gonna right click group and make them blue. I'm gonna select this, swap it to fill and go to Pathfinder Unite. This is gonna be the shadow. We got these, we're gonna leave them alone. I'm gonna select this one, press and hold Alt, create a new copy. And here, I'm gonna select this one, this one, this one, and this one. I'm gonna swap it to fill. I'm gonna select these, which are strokes, press and hold Shift and select them. Right click, group. I'm gonna double click on them. I'm gonna select the direct selection tool and delete these parts, so it's gonna be open. Okay, select them all, go to the stroke and select the profile. This is the profile that we're going to select. So as you can see, uh, not all of them are equal. So this needs to be like this. So I'm going to select this one and swap it here with this flip along. So now it's correct. So this one is correct. This one is not. I'm going to swap it. I'm going to swap this one. I'm going to swap this one. Okay, uh, I'm gonna select these two, go to object and blend and make. So as you can see, it is incorrect right now because the effect is applied. When I'm gonna expand this, they're gonna straighten out and look exactly like these also. So I'm gonna do the, with the rest also. I'm gonna select all of it, go here to the blend tool, double click on it, select specified steps, increase to four, Click OK. Now go to Object, Expand Appearance, and check this out. It came back to normal. I'm gonna double click somewhere here, and we're gonna create the patterns. So select the Ellipse tool. I'm gonna zoom in, press and hold Shift plus Alt, create a little circle. I'm gonna go to Pathfinder Unite. I'm gonna press and hold Alt, drag it up, and I'm gonna scale this down to be a little small circle. Good. I'm going to select both of these, go to Object, Blend, Make. Now we're going to double click on the Blend tool, select Specified Steps, decrease the lots of copies until there's going to be some space going on in between, something like this. I'm going to go with 20, click OK. From here, I'm going to go to Object, Expand, click OK. Now we're going to create a rectangle, select the rectangle, swap it from Field to Stroke. I'm going to go here where they intersect, press and hold Shift, and create a rectangle and go down where they intersect here right in this zone i'm going to press and hold alt select the circle and create a new copy and go here where they intersect at this zone okay i'm going to select the rectangle press and hold shift and select these circles and go up here where's the horizontal line left click on it and now select both of these circles i'm going to zoom out press and hold alt 
and drag it and make sure they intersect here. From here, press Ctrl D until it creates a lot of copies. I'm going to delete the square, select all of the circles, right click group. I'm going to scale them down. I also going to recolor these by the way to light gray so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to position this, press and hold shift and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. I'm going to position here. I'm going to scale it up until it goes here. I'm going to press and hold alt, drag it down, create a copy here. Select this one, press and hold alt, drag it to the right, press and hold shift, rotate it 180 degrees. I'm going to position it like this, press and hold alt, drag it down. And this is it. I'm going to select all the circles, press and hold shift, select them all, right click, arrange, send to back. Okay, now select this gray shape, press and hold shift and select the circles, right click and make clipping mask and do the same thing with the rest. There you go. Now we have the effects for the letter C. I'm going to select them all, right click and group. Now I'm going to drag these effects on the letter C. Press and hold shift and just put it on here. There you go. I'm going to select both of these, right click group. I'm going to select both of these, right click and group. I'm going to drag it, right click, arrange, send to back. Select, select all of it, right click group. I'm going to drag this one. This is going to be the shadow, right click, arrange, send to back. And I'm going to position the shadow somewhere around here. And this is how you make the letter C with all these effects and colors. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. And also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.